Hi, my name is Walter Rowe. I'm a Capture One affiliate, and today I'm going to demonstrate how I use Capture One in combination with Affinity Photo to do focus merged uh, stacks, where we're going to process raw files in Capture One to generate intermediate TIFF files from a sequence of images, and then we're going to take the TIFF files into Affinity Photo, and we're going to create a focus merge or focus stack document and merge them into a single merged image that gives us more depth of field and detail. If you like my channel, I'd appreciate if you want to buy me a coffee. There's a link in the description below the video. I would really appreciate that. If you'd like some one-on-one -on -one time with me, you can go to my buy me a coffee page. That's buymeacoffee.com slash Walter Rowe. And there's an extras section where you can schedule time one-on-one uh, -on -one with me uh, in half hour time slots. And I'd be happy to work with you if you have questions about Capture One or if you're migrating from Apple Aperture or Adobe Lightroom and aren't sure of the process. Uh, feel free to go there and sign up for a time and I'd be happy to work with you. So here we have a cicada. It is the 17 year cycle of cicadas here in Maryland where I live. And they've just come out in the last couple of days. So I went out in my backyard and took 10, sequen 10 frames in a sequence of this cicada. It has emerged from its exoskeleton and you can see that the shell is actually still quite white and clear. It will darken uh, over the next few hours. But uh, what we're gonna do in Capture One and Affinity Photo is take the sequence of images and merge them together into one image uh, using a combination of Capture One Pro and Affinity Photo. So here you can, I'll just step through this sequence. We can see how the focal plane is moving uh, so that the front is a little less, uh, a little more blurry and the back is a little more clear. Now we can see that you know there's there's more detail further in the frame. If we go back to the beginning of the sequence, we can see it's very sharp at the front of the frame. Uh, I've used f11 at one eighth of a second ISO 500 on a Nikon Z7, uh, and you can tell this is a pretty cropped image on the right hand side. If you can see the thumbnails, you can see they're fairly cropped. So I'm only getting about 50% of the frame. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what we're going to do, I've already made adjustments to these images, so we don't need to go through the actual adjustment process. Uh, but if you want to see the adjustments I made, uh, there's no layers. I've only done white balance, a little bit of exposure, uh, and a little bit of clarity and structure. That's Those are the only adjustments that I've applied to this uh, sequence. So I'm going to take all the frames in this sequence. Uh, we'll go to the thumbnail view. I'm going to take all the frames in this sequence. I'm going to go to this process recipe where I'm going to create full uh, size Adobe TIFF, uh, in, um, Adobe RGB TIFF files, 16 bit. And from that, I'm going to take them into Affinity Photo. So we're going to process these images. They're going to go into the output folder for my session. And if I go to my output folder, we'll see that they're being generated here. Okay, so now we have all 10 images here in the output folder. I'm going to go to uh, Finder so we can see that they're here in Finder. There's there they are, there's my output folder. I'm gonna save this. Now I'm gonna switch over to Affinity Photo and I'm gonna create a new focus merge document. And in the focus merge document, I'm gonna add these TIFF files that I've just created. I'm gonna go back to Finder where these files uh, are located. And I'm just gonna drag this over to the little navigator. When I do that, it's gonna go there and automatically select the files I've already got selected. So it's a nice little shortcut. 
in uh, Mac OS to do this. Now I'm going to open them. You can see that the sequence of files, these TIFF files, have been loaded into the focus merge panel. Uh, these are the files that will be merged. Now I'm going to say OK, and Affinity Photo will now read all of these TIFF files. It's going to align the files, and then it's going to blend them together into a single frame. And here we go. Should be, oh, it's probably loading each individual TIFF file. Here we go. Now we can see it's working, blending, merging. And here we have our final image. One of the things I like about the Affinity Photo uh, HD, uh, focus stack is you can use this little tool to toggle um, whether you see an individual frame and you can select individual frames you can kind of flip down through so the, the bottom will always be the nearest and the top will always be the furthest and then you can also um, see the blended image and what it allows you to do is go back and look for areas that might need um, clarifying or, or if it didn't do a great job with masking, uh, you can go back and clean that up. Um, and they make it very easy just by selecting the, the frame that you think should be used for an area and then selecting a brush and just brushing in and it will go and mask the other layers out and select that layer for that area of the image. They, they really make a very nice intuitive uh, interface for this. So here we have our finished image blended. I'm going to save this out back as a, as a separate TIFF file. And let's export this as a TIFF. I'm going to tell it to go put it in the folder where I have my images. I'm going to put it back in, the, in this uh, folder here. And I'm going to call it WPR2021 20 stack. So that's going to put that over back in the capture folder for my session. So now I've done that. I can choose to save this Affinity Photo as an, as an Affinity Photo document, or I can just not save it. I don't really need to save it. I'm not going to go back and revisit it. So I can quit Affinity Photo. Now let me go back to my capture folder. I'm going to find this. Here's the stack now. I'm going to drag this over into my Cicada stack doc, uh, album. So here's all the images that were used cr to create the stack. And here's the finished stack now in Capture, back in Capture One. And from here, I can do any other uh, touch ups that I want to if I feel I need to. And then I can reprocess this image into something that I could then share on the web. And so if I now process this and go to my output folder, then we'll see that we have all the TIFF files and we should have the, uh, let me just double check my recipe because my recipe may have put it in a subfolder. Yep, it put it in a subfolder. So if I go back to Finder, ah, here we go. I'll move this from the subfolder back into the output folder and get rid of the subfolder. So now we can see that here's the output in my JPEG. So this is ready for sharing on the web. So that's how I do focus merging with Capture One and Affinity Photo. 
I hope this has been helpful. If you like my channel, if it's been helpful for you to see this, I would really appreciate if you buy me a coffee and support my channel. And I hope to have you visit soon. Make sure you click, click the subscribe button. Thanks.